Hey guys, welcome back to Aquaponic Gardens in Switzerland. Um, thought I'd give you a quick update while I'm at it. Uh, the aquaculture system downstairs. Things are pretty much well the same. Um, as you can see, got a few. Where are they all? There's a fair few. There's not many tilapia in here, though. There's a breeding tank of blue tilapia nails. Tank number two, I think we go. Uh, this is the uh, nail blues. Um, yeah, do some around there. These are probably my favourite variety, the blue nails. Um, they grow very fast. Um, it's winter at the moment. The stocks are quite low. I just did a big sale the other day. Um, so I'm waiting on some new fry. Hopefully I'll get another 20, 30,000 in the next few months. And in here, here's the Mozambique. Mozambique Wamis, uh, Mozambique Harorum, Harorum, uh, Wami is easy to say, and people call them Wami Tilapia. Um, still in the bottom of the road, uh, probably waiting for a bit of feed, give a bit of a feed in a sec. Last tank's empty, just waiting for my new fry from upstairs to come down. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen the system, please check out my other videos, but that's my one kilowatt, one thousand watt heater up here, new installation. Um, will be hooked up in the next few days. This is uh, indoor aquaponics. Um, water we pumped up to here. Um, evenly distributed to these four pipes. Here, we're not quite set up yet. Um, those are my seedlings, but then where are you going for upstairs and downstairs? Pipe water run through these pipes back through there, back into the sump again. And uh, as you see, my sump tank uh, it's all new seedlings gone in again. Um, got some oak leaf salad in there, a few of them aren't doing so well. Um, yeah. The light is probably not the best at the moment, it's really small light on this. I think the globes are a little bit old, it's like half my problem. Um, two times 55 watt globes I think is in that, 110 watts or so. I'll switch them up in the next week or so. Um, funding is always tight. Uh, Biofilters are working awesome. Uh, as you can see, it's a moving bed biofilter. Uh, I have zero ammonia, zero nitrites and nitrates. Uh, I know manageable. I haven't done a water change in here yet. Um, just do top ups due to humidity loss and so. Um, I do lose a bit of water through humidity, not much. So do a bit of a feed while on my videos. So okay with me one second. So we'll take it down here. See if they're hungry. They're always shy when the lid's open. I close the lid and I'll be eating within a few seconds as you can see. Got the lids here. Um, just the top to cut off the thing, a few hinges installed. Yeah, the fish won't eat for us right now. Anyway, system's going good. Um, still in the minus degrees outside, minus 5 degrees Celsius. Um, inside it's 21 to 22 degrees at night time because the lights are on and uh, about 18 degrees during the day. Uh, as you can see, the there will also be four pipes running across this back wall behind these tank lids. And this will run back into this end tank here. Hey guys, thanks uh, for watching. Those of you who want some information, please write to me or check out my website www.aquaponicgardens.ch 
Um, you'll probably find a link somewhere on one of my YouTube pages. Um, please check out all my videos. Um, let's do I have a couple here. In the back there, the very back ones you see, they have Buck Joy. Then we have some uh, red uh, leaf mustard salad. Uh, I don't know what you call that in. We call it Rod de Blood Scent. Um, I don't know what you call that in English. Even though I am an English speaking person. Um, at the back there, we've got red oak leaf salad. Middle, we have some parsley and green oak leaf salad. And then has some gherkins, some, I think there's some capsicum grain just there, not many come up here, just a couple, and the front here got some leeks, uh, I use a lot of leeks and onions for insect control, to tend to keep uh, the ins insects at bay a lot, um, in this room all together, I uh, will be holding about 500 plants, um, in Switzerland, I can sell each salad for about three francs, three, three francs is three Australian dollars per salad. Um, so for fifteen hundred dollars a month, I'll make just from the salads. Um, basil and herbs, and say I sell at about a hundred francs a kilogram, one hundred twenty francs a kilogram, um, one hundred twenty dollars. Sorry. Yeah, so all together, um, I should make about you know, fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars a month from this room, and the costs are pretty minimal. It costs me about one hundred and fifty dollars a month to run the room, and I can produce about one ton of fish meat per year, and I produce about fifty thousand fingerlings per year. Is my estimated full production scale. I haven't reached it yet, but uh, I have the, the facilities to produce everything. Okay guys, um, please check out all my other videos, subscribe, and uh, yeah, oh there we go. That's my um, solids what do they call it? A slow, so it's letting operate, operate Down the bottom there, you can see all the holes in the bottom of the cap. This stops my fingerlings and any fish from swimming up. But it also allows my fry to swim up, down through the pipe. Because the fry will just get nailed by the big fish. And you chat it along all the way down and into my swell filter. I'm sure you've all seen my swell filter from other videos. Let's have a quick look. The same flow from the swell filter, swell, swells up around the back there. You see a bit of a pre build up at the moment. I should go and clean that. Um, such a little amount of fish doesn't really make a big difference. The filter hasn't stopped from day one. It's uh, maintenance free and works like a charm. Um, there's no, no. Not a one little piece of poo that actually makes it through to my biofilter and then through to my sump eventually. And all I find at the bottom there is dead bacteria. And these are easily siphoned out once every six months to, yeah, once every six months. Um, I find the live bacteria actually eat the dead bacteria as well. And I haven't ch ch cleaned it at all yet, but uh, yeah. Okay guys, thanks for watching, and um, yeah, S stay tuned for more videos, thanks guys, bye.